What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a parallax scrolling website in React. And this is what we're going to be building right here. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple, pretty straightforward. It's only going to take about 15 minutes, so it's going to be a quick video. But if you're ready to get started, let's get going. All right, you guys, I'm gonna, I prefer to start on just a clean, uh, clean slate here. So I'm in VS Code. I just opened it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control and the back tick button to, uh, to open up the little um, internal terminal in VS Code. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm just going to change to the, to the desktop here so it's easy to find. And then we're just going to create a simple React app. So we're going to type MPX create React app. And I'm going to name the folder Parallax React. Okay. So what this is going to do is just going to create a simple React application. Uh, very basic. Uh, it should, it, it might take just a few minutes here, depending on what kind of computer you're running. I'm on a MacBook Pro, so not too bad, but not too fast either. All right, guys, as you can see here, it says happy hacking. That means we are ready to go. So what we're going to do, I'm going to lower this down just a little bit so you can see a little better. I'm going to open the folder uh, and we just save that to our desktop. There it is right there. So let's get that open. And I'm going to press the control back tick uh, box here again, just to get our terminal open. And we're just going to say NPM start. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to start up our little React development server. And I was going to say yes here. Uh, I was already running the other, the other server there when I showed you guys the example. So we'll delete that. So here it is, uh, just a basic React, React application. Um, let's go ahead and get started with everything. So what we're going to do first is I'd like to clean things up a bit. Uh, we're not going to be using all these files, so let's just make it a little bit easier to work with. Let's select these here. We don't need the app.css either. Now I'm just going to delete all of these and it's going to throw some errors down here. React likes to tell you whenever you've messed up. So why is it telling us that? That is because it's looking for things that we just deleted. So let's take care of that right there. Um, we're going to index.js and we'll delete these. We can delete that one. And okay, that should be, should be good there. Let's get rid of all these and, um, to make sure it's, uh, everything's working, working well here. Uh, okay. So let's have a look at our, at our site here. Let's refresh it. Hey, there we go. All right. So. Let's jump in and actually get started. So what we're going to do is parallax uh, scrolling actually has a, uh, a library we can use a dependency in react. So it's going to go to Google here and we'll search for it. It's called react parallax. Okay. And it should be at the top. There it is. Now it's a, it's a package we can install really quickly with, um, you can use yarn. I'm going to use NPM. Um, so I'm just copy that. And let's go back into our code editor. Of course, we have to stop our server. That's going to type npm i react parallax. This should be pretty quick, you guys. And I'm going to go and delete that right there. All right. So, all right. Let's just make sure it's installed. Oh, there it is right there. So, let's go ahead and, and do a few things here. I'm going to create a couple folders. I'm going to create a components folder. And this is where all our files are going to live that we're going to create. Okay. And let, well, let's also, um, let's also collect, create an uh, images, an image folder there. And for the images, you can use whatever you like. The, the images I use here, I got from unsplash. So you just go to unsplash.com. They're free stock images. You can use whatever you'd like. Um, but basically you just, I think I actually use this one right here. Um, just right click and you can just download one of these, uh, medium or large would be just fine for what we're doing. So, um, but I already have those downloaded. I'm just going to pull those over into our, into our images folder here. So these are the ones that I'm going to be using here. So we can close these. So going back to, to our documentation here with the react and parallax package here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this right here and you can read through some of the documentation. We're not going to cover all of it today in this video, but we're just, we're just going to look at a couple things. So a couple of the important things. So let's go ahead and create a co couple of components here. Um, I'm going to name this one image one.js. Okay. And, um, 
we're gonna go ahead and paste that in here. And I don't wanna call it container. Let's call it, let's call it image one. And then I'm gonna delete the blur. We don't need this blur here. Um, we don't, we're not gonna use this alt tag. And I'm gonna change the strength to 800. And I'll show you in a, a little bit what, um, what the strength is here as well. So the background image in React, we actually can just uh, import the image up top. So we're just gonna say import, uh, and th this is where we name our picture. I'm just gonna name it NASA. And then we're gonna just call the file path here. So going outside of the current directory and going into image, and then this one is nasa.jpg, okay. And then here, we just, we just type in whatever we named it up top. So NASA, okay. Um, and so what we're going to do, we actually actually have to export, export this as well. Export the phone image one. Okay. So, and let's add a little bit of information in here. Um, we'll add a div, a div with a class name of, um, content. Okay. And then we'll just add a span can't type right now span class name and we'll just call this um, image text okay and it's just gonna say a trip to space okay so let's go into our app.js and of course we have to import this at the top our image one uh, component here and we are looking for the file path should be in com components components image one okay and then we're just going to enter it in right here okay so let's have a look here um let's refresh this oh of course we forgot to start our server back up so let's say i'm going to start from when we installed our package so uh, of course yes and should be no issues here I don't expect it to look great. There it is up top. You can't really see it because we haven't done any styling. So let's go ahead and just take care of a little bit of the styling here. Let's go into our index.css here. All right, now that we're in our index.css file, let's go ahead and add some styling. But real quick, I forgot to add a class name here. So let's just give this a class name of image, okay? And this will make it a little easier okay so let's do some styling image Whoop. all right and then let's style the div in there as well and we're just going to have it sit right there at the in the middle of the screen All right, here and oh, Priya, we gotta add this div. We gotta, we do have to define the height and width for it to display properly. So let's have a look here and make sure it's working properly. All right, there we go. Oh, forgot to style the little span in there. Let's go back and we're just gonna say, um, Content, then image text, I believe we named it. And I'm just gonna copy some of this over that I had written just to make it a little bit, a little bit quicker. There we go. So let's have a look, refresh. All right, cool. Now it's looking, looking a little bit better. Let's go ahead and add a couple other components here. Um, we're gonna add an image to .js and let's go ahead, go ahead and add a image three js and then to make things simple let's just copy these over okay and then we're in image two here instead of nasa let's call this one satellite and the name of the file is satellite this one's actually a jpeg file so and then for satellite and we'll do this one in image three as well I'm going to name this one space station 
You can name it whatever you like. Okay. Now let's go ahead and import these. All right. Oops. Image two. Let's copy this down and add image three here. Okay. And we'll do this. Okay. So this should be working properly. Let's have a look. There we go. We have some scrolling effects there, the parallax scrolling effects. But let's add in a little white text box. Uh, I feel like you can see it a little bit better and just looks a little bit cleaner. So let's go ahead and add a uh, another component here. And this is just going to be a just a functional component. I'm going to name it textbox.js. And we're going to create our functional component here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull this over just to make it a little bit a little bit faster and there we go so i gave this div a class name of text box we used the h3 tag and then also a p tag with about a hundred uh a hundred words in here so let's go ahead and style that as well i'm gonna bring over some styling i have uh real simple stuff real real simple so i'm gonna just skip through that i assume you guys are pretty familiar with uh css so all right let's go back to our text box here and okay let's import these so import text box from the components text box all right and we're going to use this in a couple places a uh, pretty cool feature with um with react so you can reuse components it's like one of the whole ideas behind using react so there we go so let's have a look now. Everything should be looking nice. There we go. Yep, scrolls right on over. Looks good. So let's have a look at the documentation. Uh, we were talking about the strength earlier, going from 200 to 800. Uh, and what that was, it's right here, parallax effect strength in pixels. This will define the amount of pixels the background image is translated. So what that means essentially is how much the the background is translated here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to 200 like it was initially. And here, as you can see, I mean, you can still tell it has the parallax effect, but it's very, very faint. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to 800. Uh, I think it looks a lot better. And let's have a look here. Yeah, I think that looks so much better. So there we are, you guys. We're finished up with our uh, parallax scrolling website in React. I hope you liked this video. If you feel like you learned something or you got some value out of it, please uh, give it a like and consider subscribing. I'm going to be putting out some more videos just like this to help you learn some cool features in React. So, all right, you guys, it was a pleasure, and I'll see you on the next one.